I'd like to call the meeting to order for Frontier at 6.04. And for Union and Joint Committee at 6.04. Amazing. <clears throat> for Frontier, I'd like to approve the minutes from June 18th, 26th, and the 17th for That's Frontier. Right. Does anybody have any questions at all about the three? Or frontier. If not, somebody make a motion, please. So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor for frontier? Thank you. I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes as corrected. Because <laughs> for June 18th, June 26th, and July 17th. Under, on July 17th, I have Peter erroneously listed as absent. So moved. And a second, Trevor. Um, Any other comments? Go ahead. I mean, it's true. You got me down as a non voting member on this July 17th, and that's not correct. I was a voting member. I think it. I mean, I don't really think Oh, that's where it was. I had you in three, two places, so yeah. I, I've moved you up. That was the correction I was looking to make. I had you. I also had you absent as a voting member. Right. <laughs> so, so we're putting you in as a voting member present um, on July 17th and eliminating you from the other two. Those would be the corrections that I was referring to. And also on the one of June 18th, you have me the same thing, and I mean, I'm a voting member, and it's, I was voting Were you then. At that, by that point in time, yes, you were voting? Okay. Yes. Okay. So we will make those two corrections. Okay. Any further annotations? Anyone? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. So, thank you. Any public comment tonight from Frontier people or camera people? Or? Okay. No public comment. Yes. I'm assuming no public comment because we're all community members here. <laughs> so. Gary, is she going to give us a sure. update um, on the business manager <clears throat> search? Sure, so thanks for being here for those on the Frontier Committee. They got the windows out in the library. They, they started that, so it's all scaffolded off in there. So we've got that second thing that you approved, I believe, in May to move forward on. Um, so in regards to where we are on the agenda, um, we did put a quote out um, to four people regarding um, contracting for services for the school business manager. I heard back from three people, um, one of them including them. Management solution, which you have a copy of their, um, I guess you call it proposal. Um, it's not a contract proposal based on what we what we sent out as a scope of services. Um, and so, what I am looking for tonight is I recommend that we move forward with the management solution for a three month contract. Um, and and at the October meeting, um, as a joint uh, meeting at this point in time, um, we review. If we looking to um, extend it another three months, we can go up to six months before it has to go out to a general bid, okay? Because um, it <clears throat> breaks a fifty thousand dollar point. Um, I've had conversations with you know several people. Um, I think that unless it's a complete mess in the first three months, it's not going to be realistic that we're going to be able to in three months get school started, get a new business uh, department up and running, and also conducting a search. So I think realistically, unless it kind of goes um, south, I think we should put a hold on the current search with the applicants who have applied. Um, know that we'll be holding the search until probably mid-year. At that point, you'll have a general idea of where you're going with um, superintendent search, as that was mentioned at the last meeting, as well as um, we'll have a pretty good idea how this was working out. And then we'll be able to get, we will be able to get a We'll be able to, the pool will also be able to include business managers who are currently employed but would like a change in venue. 
and so that's a much larger pool than what we're getting right now, um, which is um, a lot of people who have no experience, um, just got licensed, um, that kind of thing. So that's where I'm at. Um, so I guess I put it to all of you that that's what I recommend we do. Um, I'm I have a draft contract that I have sent to Russ, Dupree, our attorney. Um, to review. He's already given it the ones over already. I checked my email before walking in. He said it looks good um, to enter a three year, con a three month contract um, with the business solution. So um, you do have the ability to go into executive session if you need to talk about back and forth on contracts, but right now I'm not, that's, a, that's for you to decide if you need to go to that back. <coughs> you or anybody else to check into the references at all? I time. contacted multiple schools. I also talked to um, of the committee's um, recommendation I probably was going to do it anyway, but yeah. um, I also talked to Tom Scanlon, oh, uh, right. and he's worked with them extensively. Good. He kind of gave me feedback on the ups and downs. Um, to be blunt, the ups and downs of it are, um, of the company, is, 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 is the service is as good as the person you get assigned to. Um, that um, Andy, who presented to us, is an absolute superstar, mm -hmm. um, and um, there has been, you know, um, Tom has worked with multiple districts, and some of them have gone back to their traditional model. Yeah. Some have stayed with it, and he said, "I think the primary thing is it's who you get assigned." Um, right now, I talked with Andy today, um, and just talking about if this moves forward, what does it look like, transition, that kind of thing. Um, he has some people already in mind um, that he is going to, um, one does not have school business experience, one of them does, and that's the kind of team he's putting forward. So um, it's not locked in stone yet, but um, right. that's what we're at right now. But both have finance backgrounds in finance in um, public industry, a public government. One's a, I believe is that a, uh, just uh, retired from a um, public, utility company, so. It looked like he was still going to play a kind of a. He's going to play an integral role. Integral role yeah. in at least his three month period. Yep. So a couple points, just remember, that he, you know, he did say that if you're at all dissatisfied with the assigned person that don't hesitate to request mm -hmm. a, a change, mm -hmm. it's better to do that sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. um, and number two, it's just I'm just wondering about the interface between the uh, public contracting uh, thing. Because if if the music game, if the musical chairs doesn't really start till the spring, then we know that we're going to have to bid, put this out to bid at some point. And when that takes place, are we then bound to accept the low bidder that's qualified? And is it a possibility that we would have this per, these guys for six months, then have to switch to somebody else to get us through the last three months and that sort of thing? That's what I'm wondering. I suppose you're correct. Um, you could do that. I mean, with any bid, you can write the scope of the bid. So there's not many. I mean, when I had a, when I had to send this out for quotes, I had to send it to individual people because there's no other um, group like this currently. Um, so yeah, there is that risk. Um, and I'll be honest, we we don't have a lot of options on the table right oh, now. Yeah. So um, and. I also think, based on the fact that we don't have a lot of options on the table, the price that was given to us is, it was still very good. You're looking at ninety-two thousand dollars without benefits um, is less than the current um, is the current person in there. So we will have so we'll have some savings to um, that will be able to apply to that kind of to the business management position if we move forward to a search. We'll have some money there to move around with. Um, I mean, there is, and you know, obviously I'm nervous about the. Uh, as anyone should be when you go to a new type of system. I'm not kind of going in this blind and saying this is going to absolutely wonderful. I'm going as guarded as the, as the concerns of some faces I see and such. But um, I think this is the best. This is my recommendation to you, is that this is what we should do moving forward. I ran it by enough um, uh, professionals, other superintendents, retired superintendents, as I kind of explained last time, um, and more so since then. And I think we have a pretty good vision of what they provide and what their limitations are. And, um, you know, we're going to have to stay on them. Um, Patty does, uh, did a lot of things in the business manager role that I've already had a conversation with. <clears throat> yeah, you have to, that's a detention. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no? 
<laughs> Except, you know. Yeah. Anyway. You've got to have somebody to supervise. Exactly. Well, then, yeah. then, I gotta, then I have to stay after and do it. I'm not doing that. All right. But, um, you know, I've had conversations with him also that Patty did a lot of things outside of um, the, tr the strict business manager role. And, um, and I've had a very honest, you know, he's going to have to be very clear about what he is and can and can't do. And, um, and I'm going to have to look to how we, so, we fill that void. And, and in that this, was in my sort of my next part is the, what about the all the all the the trans she was the transportation director. Mm -hmm. I mean, who's the trans food, food? Yeah, right. So there's all these other things. I mean, those titles get applied to other people in the building. Um, do they go to this guy? Do they depends all depends on you? what it is. It depends on what it is, and what in, um, um, they may get divided up. They might get. Um, you know, where I take on part of it, but, you know, um, delegate parts of the, the paperwork portions of it. Um, you know, that that is the hardest part, and that's the, you know, the, uh, um, my frustrations with being in this predicament. How's that? That's, that's nice. well put. Yeah, that's well said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have checked with, um, with Barbara and and um, the people in, in, at Town Hall that just kind of give us some feedback too in this three months if they're, you know, how they interact, and a lot of it is kind of, requesting information as personnel leave or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, so I just asked her to kind of keep an eye out too and let us know if they're, what they're seeing, good, bad, or different, right. just to give you guys feedback on, you know, us all feedback on and what in, we're doing with the town. And right. talking about communication, I did change the rough, um, the rough draft of the scope and I added a second day. I really said one day a week. I asked for two days a week yeah. and let them know that. He said realistically early on they'll probably be in three, or three, three days or more that the two would be the minimum, but I did double that number because I just felt that I felt, I felt nervous about it. And right. so, um, and, and so it, a little bit more comfortable having someone there twice a week um, yeah. or two people there. Um, so. I, I got a question that since probably every single committee member here once, twice or many times have gone to Patty for questions and answers, how's that going to how's that going to work with with these guys? I mean, should we go? Should we should we have committee members go through chairs that go through the, these new people, or are we going to let the committee members just if they have a question, call them up on the day that they could be here and try to get some questions answered? But every one of us have talked to Patty one way or another many times, so. Are these guys going to get bombarded by phone calls? Well, I mean, I mean, I, you you bring up a good question overall about this this group, the the all the committees and committees combined and such, and what is the what are the norms or the the rules of business of, of the committee? Can all twenty four call the business manager at any time to ask any question? Um, should be funneled through the superintendent. Um, or you know, CC the superintendent so that you know if you're going through because um, it kind of gets the business director is kind of a an in between. They will be given an email address, um, and we're you know it's one of the things on the agenda um, when I talked with Andrew today. Um, and I said if if moving forward, I, I, I wait, but I wanted to be able to see how this would unfold. Um, whether or not you do one email address or two, but because they're going to two people we're overseeing the dis overseeing things, you want to make sure that they're both email one and one's not working on it this week and you know that kind of thing so uh, either they're going to be linked emails or this going to be one email we we'll have to figure that out but you'd email them you know that kind of thing I think um, there's also available by phone uh, but I think that comes down to I think again I'm looking at while I know they're going to be available for your questions and that sort of thing I also think that the committee needs to talk about at some point and it's not on tonight's agenda but what are the what are the rules? Because you can you could ask for a lot of things that would take up hours of time going on a on a personal investigation of something, um, and on what authority other than being a you know what I mean it's not the group looking for something and so that can get dangerous and so you kind of want to put parameters in place so that those things don't happen that you work as a committee do <coughs> not. But also, you have to have availability, one transparency, and availability information. So it's that kind of catch and catch back. So. Okay. Just, just to echo that, I think through the chairs would be great because, and, and obviously CCU, but um, just to limit because they're only going to have so much time. And if we 
load them with a lot of questions that limits how much they can accomplish for us and can see what I'll try. Very good. The, uh, I think the gentleman mentioned that he was going to get copied on all the emails that went to his people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. he's, he's going to have a good handle on who's asking what and whatever, because obviously if he's got green people, he's going to want to make sure that they get the right answer. So, but, you know, I do follow what you're talking about, but you know, I don't think anybody bothers Patty that many times with the questions. Um, I'm just bringing up as a whole, you know, when you have this many people governing, you should have some sort of structure of going through either your local chair or the, 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 the region and, and um, or the superintendent. Or the superintendent. You know, it's, it is, and it's the same, it's the same question of, you know, and I said this, you know, immediately, I said this during the original interview, having 24 bosses, I mean, if each one of you called me twice a week, that's half my week. Right. You know what I mean? So, or, you know, so that kind of, and so, but at the same time, I also do need to report to all of you and, and your constituents of, of each year, you know, towns. So it's a, it's a balancing act. And so to have some sort of guidelines, we can think about that. Mm -hmm. um, can you remind us the expectations on the management of the staff here? Because I don't, in this reading through the scope, I didn't really see anything that related to how they're going to work with the current staff. So they are going to work with the current staff. Mm -hmm. Personnel issues will be, will be referred to me. Okay. Um, um, but they will have the asking of the staff to produce as, as their, their team. So have you talked to the staff? Have you, I have. What is the feeling there about this? Um, they are, so I met with them and, and I went, collectively they're looking forward to the change. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and that's kind of, what they're, that's where they're at, they're at there. They, um, there wasn't a lot of, they were happy that there was some sort of solution in place, mm -hmm. some relief there. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they, they're, I'm sure they're anxious a little bit, but at the same time, I think they're, they're yeah, it's a new beginning kind of deal. And, and they're gonna help, they're gonna help these new people they're going to they're have, gonna have, he, they're gonna have questions, and yeah. Paula and everybody else over there probably can answer some of the questions for them, yeah. too. So. And will they do the evaluations for the, that's the staff? No. No. You'll do it. No, they'll, they'll, it'll be similar, it'll be similar to um, how department heads work. They give, in, they give information, input into the evaluation, but don't actually do the evaluation. And I don't know who wrote this, but wait, they spelled wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> Happens. Oh, it's it is tough to spell, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Where did I spell Good wrong? catch, Kate. <laughs> I think it was just to see if anyone would catch it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I every time. Oh, there it is. Up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every time it comes up. Down at the bottom on number seven. Spell check. Oh. Number seven. Yeah. Spell check. Number one. Number one. Right at the bottom. I'll talk and, 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 and <laughs> 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 It's good to have another oh, set of eyes. Bob's got another question. I always think that what's going to end up happening is these people are going to delineate the staff certain tasks that they're expected to complete. So that when the people from the outside come in on the two days a week, they have the information they need to go forward. So there'll be more of a big end and of the particular task for each employee is what they're expected to accomplish. They may have a problem in complying with some of that. Well, I mean, I, there, could, there could be a dozen problems that we can kind of but, we can but go you know, through tonight, but I, it, it's something that's going to happen. Yeah. Got to happen to make this thing work. So I have a question on number six um, on the contract. It says the bidder will be expected to have a representative representation representative, sorry, attend at least one school committee meeting per month for each school district. And I'm not thinking the towns are going to like that because if they, the four towns are considered one school district, does that mean that they are going to have to just go to Conway one month and then? All part. That's not how it's written. It says at least one school committee meeting per month for each school district. The town of I thought it was Union 38 was one district. No. So each other one is their own district? Okay, then I'm good. So just 
going back to the governance uh, and interacting with finance with the business director, I think what what Mask recommend is a uh, year-round budget subcommittee, and, and that was the one thing that we didn't that that wasn't put out as an option, but. Um, a budget. Normally, the budget subcommittee doesn't convene until January. January, and that to me is the thing that might be rethought about this whole get up. That uh, yeah, it might be to the, everybody's benefit to gin it up a, a little bit earlier. Um, Why and don't we see what their recommendations. What's that? See what their request is relative to budgeting. Yeah, that's true too. But um, you're trying to. Get the butt earlier to try to get you know. Yeah. So what you um, do is make it Billy's idea. Well, <laughs> sure, <laughs> but but I mean that, that there's there's a lot of good stuff that happens through that committee and um, gets a lot of questions answered and a lot of stuff clarified and the sooner. So that's that. Okay. Anybody else have any, Peter? I'm Mark. Let's throw it out. Um, in our town, when we have a change in the folks running the finances, we do an audit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is there any consideration to? Uh, I talked with that? I talked with Tom Scalen regarding that. He says we're going to be auditing you either way, and so. I mean, I'm obviously, where the change is one month into a new year, where there maybe are, hasn't been so much activity and so on. But can it be built into the audit that they do that somehow there's. I don't know. I, because, I don't know the details. So because Pat the is leaving at year end, right? Okay. Um, even though we're into this next year, she's just been working. Besides opening up the books for okay. um, for the nineteen school year, she's closing out all the books for eighteen. So when we bring in our auditors, as we always do, they will be auditing the closing of Patty's work here. Okay. So when he said, "Nice and time, do we need to bring you in separately?" He said, "No. We just any kind of errors or." Discrepancies will be found in our audit when we do it normally for those fiscal years. If she was leaving mid-year, that would be a valid question. But because she's closing out those books, okay. um, that's um, we take care of that. So okay. I do ask them, that's a good question. <coughs> Anybody else have any questions? David, I can see you have a question. Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. <laughs> all right. You, you Mary, oh, Mary? <laughs> Um, it might be a separate conversation, I want to stick with this first, but just letting us know um, the situation with Patty and where we're at with everything that she's done or stuff that still has to be yeah, done. Yeah, I can. Is she gone? Is she here? Sure. When you ask, I, I put it on hold, but I can just answer the question. Okay. Um, I, have, <laughs> I have contracted with Patty to um, do 20 hours more of work close out Frontier's books because they're not done. Um, I talked with Tom and I also talked with um, um, gosh. Why do I Don Scott. Thank you. Well, I don't know one every time Don Scott's name comes up I, I, I lose it. Um, I also talked with Don Scott and basically based on the particular area it is a valued um, we're paying her um, seventy-five dollars an hour not to exceed 20 hours to close out her books. Um, she's not done. The towns are done. The town, the elementary school's books are done. Um, but that's what she estimates around the amount of time she's, she's going to do. So she's going to work on the weekends. Um, I, think, I think she said over two weekends we'll probably get it done. So um, based on talking with the, you know um, Don and with Tom, I kind of said, hey, I'm in this particular situation. Does this sound all right? Because to me, this is a little bit outside of what I've done before. And they said, that's absolutely. That's you're getting it. To, a fair price, and you'd rather have her close out the books and bring someone else. You're going to pay twice as much because they're going to have to figure out exactly where things are to close them out. So, um, you know, we, you know, we've had a while that the Patty's you know leaving us sudden and, and disappointing. Um, uh, you know, I've kept things in between us to um, have a healthy finish. So, great. that's where we're at. Thank you. <clears throat> Can we get our year-end numbers? Mm -hmm. You said the schools are done at some point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, yes. I don't know. Like that. Mr. Chair, I'd like to move that we hire uh, management solutions for a period of three months, $80,000 a month to perform the accounting services and business services out, as outlined in the quote and in the letter. Second. You can't, can't second. second. 
second. I'm not second. I already seconded. Jerry, second. 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 And I think York said he was going to make sure that the final thing had sent by the attorney. We want to look at it as recommended by the administration. That's fine. Well, I don't want to complain. Let's run to your any more questions. What was that as recommended by the administration? By the interim superintendent. <laughs> She's got enough references. I got enough. It's good enough. It's close enough. For Frontier, all in favor? Is that eight? Yep. So I will entertain the same motion from the union. I would move that same exact paragraph, please. I'll second it. I've got multiple seconds. So oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Take Michael. Take Michael. I'll second. Any so further discussion? discussion? She is doing the I just something. wrote it. No, I know I she is. is. I will catch up eventually. Uh, You're doing good. You're doing good. You're All in favor? Opposed? Uh, Abstention. Oh, it's unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. congratulations. Have you been um, working on getting us together? Have you, I mean, I'm not saying you don't have a lot to do, but this, this, this joint, so we can be one meeting. Yeah, that was a follow-up to meeting. That right. is like Organizers. a really good blank look. I, I'm just Organizing to question. Question. Organizing. Organizing. Am I looking at regionalizing so, yeah, the district? Yes. No, 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 no. I've made a lot of progress in two weeks. So, we had a conversation we about. We have to do two separate motions, yes. two separate minutes, two separate. So, I'm going to take that as a no, I haven't gotten to that yet. Right. No, I haven't. I, well, I have to some degree. Technically, you can have one set of minutes, which we've translated, but you still have to do your separate votes right. each committee, just like it was done. Yeah. That's a lot smoother than it used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here to improve the situation. It's a yes, there is. Okay. So we're going to go in an executive session uh, pursuant to MGL Chapter 3821A7 to comply or act on, under the authority of general or special law. Federal grant a requirement approval executive session minutes from June 18 this year and 26 of this year, 2008 to 2018. We've got to do a roll call first. Uh, well, it was in the second. So he seconded. Okay. Uh, second. Bob Bob Judy? Yes. Cindy? Yep. Bob? Yes. Livia? Yes. Robert? Yes. Mary? Yes. Phil? Yes. And Lynn? Yes. Thank you. I will also. Uh, Make the motion to enter executive session pursuant to what he said. <laughs> With the added caveat that we're inviting one non-voting member to join us, Phil Cantor. Um, so we have a motion and a second. Trevor, roll call. Uh, what's that? You don't have to invite him. Oh, he's already in. That's true. Okay. Mike. <laughs> I'm not doing we don't want to invite him. Michael. Michael. Yes. Hey, we're, we have to say, Greg, is that a, is that a yes. no no too? Well, no, until Peter. We're, yes. We're not in yet. Oh. He's taking the time. David? Yep. Kenneth, yes. Trevor? Yes. Katie? Yep. Bob? Yeah. And Maureen? Yes. Did I miss anyone? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. No, okay. I just like to say that I've been impressed by the uh, way that our interim superintendent has dealt with the manager uh, situation and uh, the uh, speed and diligence and uh, really looking at all aspects of this that's all been handled in the first class way. And I want to thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yes. I have Conway warrants as well. Oh, oh yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we motion to adjourn. Who did Still it? sign them because well, Elaine lost. Frontier, the need a motion to adjourn. So That's for the chairs, Mary. Mary. Yep. All in favor?